What's up guys, this is Adam from 3dmouseworld.com Welcome to another Maya tutorial And today we're gonna create this really nice grass hill And uh, we're gonna have the assets of the grass and the rock we're gonna be using from our library but I'm gonna show you guys how you can uh, use these models to create a really nice hill uh, using MASH in Maya So without further delay, let's get started Okay, so this is the scene I have uh, As you can see, I have this uh, hill uh, textured and also I do have uh, here um, the grass itself uh, and I have that uh, rock here that's uh, mid poly uh, from our library okay so first let's uh, let's start uh, working with the grass scattering it on, on that uh, hill so first let's select the grass make sure it's selected and let me just quickly hide the, the hill so let's select the grass and then let's go to effects and let's go to mesh and here in create mesh network let's click on the option box and just like let's reset the settings just make sure we reset so everything is uh, the default and click apply and close so now we have that the grass gets scattered like this way and we want to make sure we scatter it on the hill itself uh, and now it's hidden so that's fine uh, so let's select the hill geo and then let's uh, show it let's uh, on on it Okay, so there it is, and then let's uh, go to the smash settings, so let's select it, and then uh, go to the, the attribute editor, and let's click on mesh distribute, and let's change it from linear to mesh. Okay, so now the method is scatter, as you can see here, there's multiple ways of uh, scattering, but let's keep it as scatter for now, and uh, this is the number of points, so basically this is how many uh, grass pieces, let's say, are gonna be scattered important here is the uh, input mesh so here to show you it's accept mesh so let's middle mouse grab uh, the hill geo and add it here to this uh, mesh so you can see here the grass is immediately scattered uh, on the hill but it's just like 10 pieces before we do any more um, uh, increase this number we want to make sure we create uh, this grass be created as instances instead of like uh, as it is each one like individual copy so let's select, make sure we are selecting the mesh one here and let's go to mesh and the utilities and let's make sure we switch mesh geometry type. So this, as you can see here, mesh it have this uh, instancing node and so now it's instanced, everything is instanced so that's really good, it's gonna be really really light to work with. So you can now have like thousands of grass or tens of thousands without having too much problem. Okay, so now let's click on mesh one here and then let's change the number of points from 10 to let's make it like 500. And so let's see here. So my scene, as you can see, is still very light, but 500 is not enough to fill up this uh, hill. So let's increase it uh, more like 5000. So you can see now it looks better. And uh, I want to make sure we pick up like a nice angle. So let's, let's create a camera. And let's go through the camera here and then uh, let's pick some angle and then we can like adjust the settings basically to look good from the angle that we are picking so let's something like this looks pretty good and let's click on mesh again and then let's increase that like 10,000 and then we can keep playing with this uh, settings so let's increase this like 15,000 so that's pretty good let's go maybe let's go 20,000 okay so now it's getting really like nicely filled okay so let's switch uh, here the viewport let's click on the camera in here and here perspective okay, let's press 6 and perspective and then let's see so now my scene is slowed down a little bit because you know I have like 20,000 uh, instances of this grass but that's pretty huge number so let's uh, go here and then uh, select this rock and let's uh, place it somewhere like it looks nice in our scene. So let me just uh, have uh, both side by side, both view and let's expand the view here. And let's uh, make sure we find some uh, nice gap. Uh, like here like it seems there's a gap around here. And let's frame on it. And let's push our rock in here and then let's rotate it to make it uh, look a little bit more interesting than this uh, straight up so this will be good like this and then you know we can duplicate it around you know because this will add a really nice variety to your scene once once you have like uh, more than 
uh, more variety you know like rocks grass flowers like the more you have things in your scene the more uh, better it's gonna look want to make sure uh, it's viewed from our camera so let's rotate it you know this is just quickly just to show you guys how you can do this okay so so now we have this looks pretty good uh, one more thing what we can do is let's uh, work a little bit into the um, grass make it more like have variety in it like in terms of randomness so let's select that uh, mesh here and let's go click on mesh one and you can see here there's a random node so let's let's click on it and then add a random node so this you can see it's immediately randomized the grass you just want to make sure the position x y and z uh, especially the y you want to make sure it's zero so you can see the grass went down because before it was one so the glass get lifted up so we want to make sure we don't have that so we want to make sure it always stays on the ground and uh, we can also zero the z and x you know we don't want to change too much of the position but we want to change a good amount in the rotation itself so let's start uh, playing here with the rotations and you can see uh, it will change significantly the look of your scene but I don't want to do too much so I want to keep it like uh, simple yeah. so I keep changing these settings adjusting them a little bit here and there I changed the position here so let's turn it back off okay something like this let's have a, like a much more a nice uh, variation in it and this will adjust the scale of the settings you are using so if you, sorry the strength so if it's like a one it's like applying 100 percent if it's like uh, 0 0.2 so that's uh, you know less effect it's gonna be in your scene so this is basically gonna have a really nice um, effect on you it's gonna help and uh, of course you can change the random seed you know the more you can change it and see which one will look nice and you can keep that so maybe let's put it back to one and this mesh distribute we can actually adjust the settings here for example we can ignore calculate rotations so this way the grass strand will be all facing up uh, that will work really well for trees for example but for this grass we can uh, have it matching the kind of like the normals of the geo so another thing we can adjust here is basically the scatter uses face area so the way to simplify this is basically when you click this option it will even it will try to even the scatter grass across the terrain if you have it unchecked it's gonna have like the more you have dense mesh uh, the more uh, scatter objects gonna be on and then the less dense mesh it's gonna have less so you're gonna get uneven it's kind of like what you see here we have like gaps in here and then we have areas that's filled but when I check this one like it tried to even everywhere to look like that to, to look uh, to fill up the scene which is in this case I think it's pretty good it will help us to to fill up these uh, gaps so let's keep it this way okay so something like this so now we have like this uh, hill basically filled with grass and also these rocks uh, helps uh, you know to make it uh, look nice as well so we can always uh, readjust the camera you know to make it look uh, more interesting which is probably going to be doing that uh, later on but yeah as you can see guys it's really like uh, easy to do this and uh, it doesn't take that long to do, to use mesh uh, before previously we used to use xgen to create like grass and trees and this kind of stuff it uh, works pretty good but uh, i think mesh is really much faster and it does it's more reliable you know and really easy to use and can give you really nice results pretty quickly so hopefully this tutorial helped you guys let me know if you have any questions and don't forget to subscribe and hit the bell icon if you want to get notified when i publish a new video feel free to check our website 3 for more tutorials and cool 3d assets until next time take care